going to talk about some of the writers who influenced me in my youth. Um, I keep returning to their works, advice, and examples. Arthur Conan Doyle, Isaac Asimov, Dean Acheson, Kurt Vonnegut Jr., and John D. MacDonald. Arthur Conan Doyle earned a medical degree, then doctorate in medicine. Trained and worked as a surgeon, served in the Boer War as lieutenant captain and brigade officer, married and raised five children. Isaac Asimov earned chemistry degree, then doctorate in chemistry. Worked as a research chemist for the war effort in World War II. His specific assignment was to create a dye that was also a shark repellent for use by pilots and crews shot down over water. He was drafted five days after World War II officially ended with the surrender, formal surrender of Japan. Served as an army corporal, became a full professor of biochemistry in a medical school, married and raised two children. Now, Asimov earned an undergraduate degree in chemistry, then a master's, then a doctorate. That's still conventional. What's sometimes not understood is that in Britain in the 1800s, when Arthur Conan Doyle was attending school, it was conventional to earn an undergraduate degree in medicine. That enabled you to be licensed to practice medicine. Then, if desired, you could also go on and further education earn a doctorate. That's what he did. Dean Acheson attended the Groton Prep School, earned a Yale degree in de facto in economics, attended Harvard Law, finished fifth in his class, clerked for Harvard Law Professor Felix Frankfurter, who later became a Supreme Court Justice. Served in World War I as a Navy ensign. Then Atchison uh, served as uh, secretary to Supreme Court Justice uh, Louis Brandeis. They're now usually called clerks. Uh, but he was actually titled secretary at the time was appointed Under Secretary of the Treasury, Assistant U.S. Secretary of State, Under Secretary of State, and President Truman signed him Secretary of State. He married and raised three children. Kurt Vonnegut. Short Ridge High School, where he was editor of the daily school paper. They had were associated with a vocational school where they taught people how to be, how to run, you know, printing press for newspapers and magazines. And so Short Ridge High School was lucky and had a daily student paper. Uh, then he went to Cornell, where he was editor of their daily school paper. He was a chemistry major. World War II started. He joined, became a prisoner of war in Europe, and emerged um, as a private first class. He was in the GI Bill and went to Chicago and was eventually awarded a master's degree in anthropology. Uh, his initial thesis was declined, but later accepted. He worked as a public relations writer for General Electric, later sold new and used cars, and became the first Saab dealer in the USA. Married, raised six children. John D. MacDonald earned an industrial engineering degree from Syracuse, then an MBA from Harvard. In World War II, he served as an Army Intelligence Officer in the Office of Strategic Services, now called the CIA. Rising from his initial appointment as Lieutenant uh, to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. Married and raised one son. You know, so I haven't said anything about the writing yet. Well, again, 
Arthur Conan Doyle, trained and practiced, uh, worked as a surgeon, served in the Boer War, Lieutenant Captain Brigade Officer, and wrote many exceptional works of fiction and nonfiction, including Sherlock Holmes. He wrote nonfiction, including uh, about true crime. Isaac Asimov, same thing, uh, worked, drafted, wrote many exceptional works of fiction and nonfiction, including Foundation. Foundation was awarded to Hugo for all-time best science fiction series. Dean Acheson, well, uh, Acheson was immodest in person, but extraordinarily modest in his memoir, Present at the Creation, one of my favorite books. He created the Lend-Lease Program for FDR, the Truman Doctrine and Marshall Plan for Truman, the Bretton Woods Economic Agreements, and was the most influential member of XCOM during the Cuban Missile Crisis. Vonnegut, Wrote many exceptional works of fiction and nonfiction, including Cat's Cradle, which for a long time when asked what my favorite book was, I said Cat's Cradle. And Slaughterhouse Five ranked the 18th best novel of the 20th century by the Modern Library. So, Conan Doyle, Asimov. Atchison, Kurt Vonnegut, and The Life and Times of John D. MacDonald, Red Hot Typewriter. MacDonald wrote 500 published short stories after World War II and about 50 novels. Well, the last half of them included, uh, oh, one uh, ca retitled Cape Fear, was the Executioner, Executioners, and the uh, Travis McGee series. Now, the advice I received in my youth, both in person and in writing, and by example, was not to major in English, English literature or go into professional writing graduate uh, programs, including MFA, Master of Fine Arts in Writing. Some people do that and do well. Stephen King earned an undergraduate degree in English, taught English, and had a prosperous writing career. Robert B. Parker earned a PhD in English literature, taught English, and had a prosperous writing career. J.K. Rowling earned a degree in French, taught English to French-speaking students, and has had a prosperous writing career. I was told she was the first billionaire author. Dan Brown earned a degree in English, taught English, and had a prosperous writing career. You can do it. You can earn a degree majoring in English, teach English, have a financially successful writing career. It's been done, it'll be done again. However, this is from the perspective of 2024. I'll now talk about the advice I received circa 1971. My ninth grade English teacher was Bruce Cowdery and my 10th grade English teacher was Katie McGroarty. I dedicated my true crime book, Language of Evil, to them. For Bruce Cowdery and Katie McGordy, Language of Evil, published by Penguin. It was about a um, an English teacher murderer, see? That's uh, this guy. He was a professor, taught English at Kansas State University. So, 
During my first month of attending ninth grade English classes, Mr. Cowdery took me aside and gave me a test while he had the rest of the class do something else. It may have been to read silently. I found out later he had given me the ninth grade English final exam. I did not miss any questions. He, Mr. Cowdery said, Robert, you already know everything I'm supposed to teach you this year, so I'm giving you a separate course of instruction. I'll give you the same tests I give all the other students, but I'll give you other assignment. Uh, I never missed a test question all year. Read a lot of books, fiction and nonfiction that were not assigned to the other students. <coughs> I was not impressed with everything, but I enjoyed that class. Mr. Cowdery counseled me to not go and earn a degree in English and to teach English, but to have real world experience and earn degrees where I would work in the real world. He said something like, there may be a million Americans with a degree in English and they have five unpublished novels in their desk drawers. Knowing how to write is not the same as having something to write about. He asked me, who are you five favorite authors that you've read and are currently reading. I replied with what I've just told you about. I was reading Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle, uh, Foundation by Isaac Asimov, Present at the Creation by Dean Acheson, uh, Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut, and The Executioners, which was retitled Cape Fear. Uh, I wasn't really supposed to be reading Cape Fear. It was considered porn in 1971. And I didn't read uh, McDonald's Travis McGee novels until decades later, this, this millennium. Mr. Cadre urged me to write for submission. I had similar experience next year with Mrs. McGroarty, not exactly the same, but similar. I didn't always go to class, but I came in and took the tests. It wasn't long before I became a newspaper columnist, writing teen talk for our local afternoon newspaper and a magazine columnist for a national church magazine, a youth magazine. I did submit to bigger markets, but did not have early success with them. I applied for and joined the Mensa Society. Over time, I held local and national offices um, and declined international Mensa's uh, offices. Uh, I earned some practical certifications and went to work as I worked in an emergency room, in a psych ward, on an ambulance, and as a firefighter. While working from Wichita State University, I earned a degree with a major in natural sciences and mathematics. From Friends University, I earned a degree with a major in human resources management. Some HR programs are more business oriented. My degree program uh, allowed me to take some courses more suited to organizational psychology or industrial engineering. The guy who sat next to me in most of my HR courses went directly to graduate school in industrial engineering. Then I went to law school. I was admitted to various bars, practiced medicine, or practiced law, won some, lost some, and I did other things. Now, I don't have anything against those who earn English and MF ed degrees and so forth, but then and now, back in 1971 and 2024, my favorite writers and favorite works are almost all written by people who are non-writing degrees and had careers like the five writers I've mentioned here. By the way, I ran the Flash Kincaid's uh, editor feature on Word, and this is written at the eighth grade reading level on the Fleisch Kincaid scale. You understand this okay? I'm sure you do.